Good day, YouTube. It's Sunday. Question of the week time. Well, it's not really. Well, it's kind of Sunday. I might be. I might be recording this a few hours early today. Uh, so it's Sunday. Question of the week time. This question of the week is going to be a. Uh, well, you know, we've we've done question of the weeks now since uh, I don't know. February or March. It's it's been a lot of weeks. I'm starting to lose. Uh, Lose easy to come up with uh, beer questions, but here here's this week's question of the week What type of barrels would you like to see barrel aging in more? Uh, bourbon barrels whiskey barrels rye barrels are all very uh, very Very widespreadly Fuck. I can't even talk today guys. I can't even talk What barrel that you don't see out often as an aging barrel would you like to see more of again there is a widespread use of whiskey barrels all types of whiskey barrels sour mash bourbon uh, rye even scotch whiskey barrels are widely used what type of barrel would you like to see that isn't used very often uh, I used to want to say cognac but cognac is actually starting to be used quite often but it does impart a very nice flavor to beer um, I've had a couple really good wine barrels. I've had some good Chardonnay barrels. I've had a few good uh, Merlot barrel aged beers. I've had a few, uh, you know what, sherry barrels. I've had a few of those as well. Um, but I think for me, I think for me what I would want barrel wise to see more of is port. Port and Sherry, really. Port and Sherry. I think those are the two barrels that I think could be used with a lot of things. I mean, an, a fine Imperial Stout and a Port barrel bring out some beautiful, beautiful fruity flavors out of, in that Imperial Stout. That could be amazing. Um, but yeah, those two are two barrels that I'd like to see used more often. What about yourself? How the fuck do I have the hiccups? I haven't eaten anything all day. What the fuck? Anyway, bye guys.